Good morning and thank you for joining us for the Centero Forever Dublin presentation on Have You Met Next Door? My name is Beth Baker and I'm the Aging in Place Navigator for the City of Dublin and the Volunteer Coordinator for the Older Adult Program with Centero. Before we begin, I do wish to inform you that this presentation will be recorded and archived. If you choose not to have your image recorded, please cancel the video option at the bottom left of your screen. Questions are very welcome and encouraged, but we ask that you utilize the chat function so that the presentation may flow. I am so pleased to welcome and introduce Marianne Bailey, owner of Online Tech Lessons. Marianne saw a need to teach and instruct older adults on various computer programs and apps. Her classes range from Facebook 101, blogging techniques, tips and tricks to shopping online with confidence, to creating your own podcasts. Mary Ann instructs both individuals and groups. And today, Mary Ann will introduce you to the latest way to meet and greet people and expand your network through Nextdoor. Please welcome Mary Ann Bailey for this presentation on Have You Met Nextdoor? Mary Ann? Beth, thank you so much for having me. I definitely appreciate the opportunity to be able to uh, work and teach with you and to, to be here this morning. Um, again, my name is Marian Bailey, and I am the owner of OnlineTechLessons.com and TheHipSenior.com. And today we are going to learn about Nextdoor. And so I'm going to jump right into it. If you have any questions, throw them in the chat, and Beth will let me know that you have some questions. Um, and if I just kind of ask them if you have them, um, and then if we haven't covered them, then we'll make sure that we cover them at least by the very end of this so I am going to share my screen and we are going to hop to it. Now Nextdoor is a website. They do not have an app that you can download on your phone. They do not, uh, that, that's all it literally is, is a website that connects all of your neighbors. And how you get to it is you go to nextdoor.com. Let me grab an annotating tool here so I can circle some things for you. Give me one second. Of course, it doesn't want to work for me. We talked a few minutes ago about technology not, not uh, not cooperating. All right, well, I'll just use my mouse. But up here, this is nextdoor.com, and this is where you want to go to when you are signing up. You just go to nextdoor.com, and what will happen is that they make you verify that you are indeed in that neighborhood and all neighborhoods have names right so um, the neighborhood that I live in is called Lions Road it's not the name of the road it's just the name of the neighborhood it's it's weird um, so what you do is you go to nextdoor.com and you sign up and when you do that let me show you Are either of you on Nextdoor already? Because if that if you are, then this is pointless. You are? Okay. Diane's not. All right. So go to nextdoor.com. And you literally, you enter your street address. And they're not being invasive. Again, they're just trying to add you to the correct neighborhood for this. And so you enter your street address and your email address. And you say, join your neighborhood. Um, and then they're going to ask you to um, verify and so the easiest way to do that is just to allow them to send you a postcard in the mail. So it'll take a couple of days for this process to actually happen for you. Um, and so they send you a postcard. And when you get that postcard, um, you go back to next door and you enter a code that they put on that on that postcard. And that verified that that was mailed to the correct address and that it is indeed you. And so once you do that, then you will be back at logged in and you'll be back at, to a page that looks similar to this. And Nextdoor is, Nextdoor is great at helping you meet your neighbors and get to know them and find out what's going on. But I do have a couple warnings about it. And the biggest one is to kind of be aware that just like Facebook and any other social media, there can be a lot of drama going on. 
And so I encourage you guys just to kind of watch when you, when you post things, what your intent is, is your intent in calling out your neighbor for having, you know, a car parked on the street for 20 minutes longer than it should have been, or is your intent for pointing out a van that tried to pick up children down the street, in which case you should also call the police, right? But just kind of alerting neighbors as to what's going on. I find the most useful stuff is kind of like, you know, hey, there was a loud bang. Um, I don't have power. Does does anybody else not have power? At which point you should have called the power company as well, right? But sometimes it's just kind of finding out what's going on in your neighborhood and sharing things. The nice thing is there's some other features available that I'll show you as well. But um, people do tend to get on. They tend to gossip and, and, and with drama and stuff like that. So just kind of watch what 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 you're doing on, on next door. Um, and just try to try to be helpful and, and not harmful when, when you do that. And I'm not saying anybody here would, would do that, but we just, I just try to put that out there because there is a lot of times, a lot of drama and it's easy to get wrapped up in that. And it's one thing that I do not like about next door. Um, it's kind of like, you know, the, the nosy neighbor next door that's always, you know, yelling at kids and stuff just because, you know, they picked a ball up out of her yard. And then they, and then so next door kind of goes another level and gives people the opportunity to say, uh, so I'm going to I'm going to post that these kids did this on next door. They're just kids, that type of stuff. So just be careful what you're doing with that. So now that I got that out of the way, I'm sorry for being on my soapbox, but um, just kind of be aware um, there's. All these things over here on the left that Nextdoor provides. And when you go into it, if you click on uh, the name of your um, neighborhood, it pulls up a map and it actually shows you all these little um, names of the neighborhoods around you. And these are, um, again, these aren't streets. These are the names of the neighborhoods. Because when you post something on Nextdoor, it will actually give you the option to, to um, post just to your neighborhood or to surrounding neighborhoods and I'll show you. Um, so what I did was right up here, it says kind of like on Facebook, it says post a message event poll or alert to your neighborhood. And so I'm going to post up there and, um, let's see, today is Tuesday. So I'll we'll put it in here, just something random. I hope everyone is enjoying a wonderful Tuesday so far. Have a great day. Okay, People are probably going to be like, why is she posting this? But that's okay. Um, visible to anyone. If you click on there, it'll show you. Do you want to, um, anyone can see it. Sometimes um, anyone could be in, next door has gotten into where they'll take certain posts and they'll post them nationwide. So keep in mind, if you say anyone, it could end up anywhere sometimes. Um, then, or you can choose news nearby neighborhood and that's where I showed you the map. That's all those would show up on there as well, or just your neighborhood. Is it only relative to what's going on? Are you guys having a neighborhood picnic and you only want to post out to your neighbors, inviting them and not the, all the rest of the neighborhoods nearby. That's kind of why that is. So, um, that is, is that, and then, so you would choose one of these, we choose my neighborhood, and then you can even add a photo. So you could go in here and add, um, different photos. I'll upload this. And then, so you click on that, you choose your photo and then you click post. Choose a category. Oh, we missed a spot. So that's the nice thing. If you, if it doesn't go, make sure you check for error messages, choose a category and, uh, general, we'll just post general and then we'll hit post. And then it says it's published. Now, if you wanted to, you could share it to Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp. You could copy this link and post it some other places. So now we have this post here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what do we do though? I don't necessarily want this post up here, right? It was just an example for you guys. So at that point I am going to decide, Hmm, 
That doesn't really look like how I want it to look. So see these three dots up here? Anytime you ever see three dots horizontally or vertically, it's called a hamburger menu. And what we're going to do is we're going to click these three dots. And a hamburger menu means that there's always a menu behind it. So if you ever see that, know that there's more to the story. So we're going to click those three dots and then we can actually go in here and do some more things to this post. We can delete it, which is what I'm going to do. Um, we could close the discussion. So say it's something that you post and it's maybe something that you know it might be a little controversial and you don't want people debating about it and stuff. You just want to put that information out there. You could actually close the discussion and not allow anyone to be able to make any comments on this post. Um, so that's always an option as well. That just kind of stops the debate and it's and thing and that you can do that if you find out that something that you didn't think was going to be controversial and you don't want to delete it um, and people are bashing each other and being awful and stuff. You can go in there and close the discussion at any time and, and that just stops that that discussion about that argument. Um, you can go in here and change at the category or we could even click on edit. Um, and we could go in here and say, how, you know, change what we posted in there. Um, you could do that. And then we've got to hit save. There's always this add location. I really strongly recommend you do not add your location. I think it's, I think it just puts in a general one, but that's kind of unnecessary. I don't, I'm not a big fan of sharing locations out there. Um, I think we should just be able to, to post on there. But see, now it says, have a great rest of your week. We were able to change that, that message. Okay. But we're going to go in here and we're going to click on here. And then when anytime anybody uh, comments on it, the comments will filter below. So, um, for instance, um, so I mean, people are, am I right at being mad? They're mad at their neighbors. It kind of gets that way. Sometimes they post videos about stuff. Two strangers were at my door. Um, I strongly recommend using next door for the good of, of, of our neighborhoods. Uh, this person, um, needs his lawn mode. So, um, let's see, you can see here though, it was posted one hour ago and nobody has posted yet. So if you don't see mess comments on it, kind of see how long ago it was. Um, and then if you want to add a comment on it, you just click there, you type in what you want to type in and then you click comment. But we want to go back and delete this one, right? So we're going to click on this hamburger menu and then we're going to say delete. And it says it's probably going to delete. Do you want to? Yes, I do. And now it's gone. So are there any questions about how to post? Diane, you good? Yes, no, maybe. Okay. So if somebody said, there's also the possibility that somebody might send you a personal message. Um, and there's these little notifications up here, like on Facebook ha has them where you, they alert you to whether you have a message or a notification or not. These notification ones here are more like um, if you belong to a group, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, if, if you belong to a group, it'll show you in here, um, that somebody joined or somebody made a comment in one of the groups that you belong to. If somebody sends you a private message, then this one with the chat boxes here will show up and it says messages if you put your mouse over it. And that's where uh, people can send you private messages and, um, you just click on the, it'll be bold like this one is here. Um, and then you just click on the messages and then it just shows them over here and you can respond down here at the bottom. So these are our um, messages that only you can see. Um, they're not out to your entire neighborhood or anything, just like Messenger on Facebook, which we will be learning about next week, as a matter of fact. So that's what those there are about. That's English, right? Those there. <laughs> okay. So those are private messages. And then if we keep going down, there's things like it shows you the map. It'll show you the map of all the different neighborhoods 
and how many people in that neighborhood. So there are 1,368 households just in my neighborhood, but only 185 of them are on next door. And so you can actually go in here and send invites. If you want more of your neighbors um, to be part of that, you can actually go in and inv click on invite neighbors over here. And I don't have any I can send right now, but normally it would show you that neighborhood again of all your neighbors and you can click on their house and then it'll give you the opportunity to say, um, send them an invite and they'll send them just like you received that postcard for uh, logging into your account. It'll send them a postcard and saying, hey, um, please join nextdoor.com, uh, be in communication with your neighbors, stuff like that. So, and that's free. The whole thing is free. There's not really a cost unless you're a business and you decide that you want to um, advertise within um, nextdoor.com. Um, then they have vaccine maps where it links to this where you where you can get your vaccines from. Um, and then digest. Let's. I'm not sure what digest is. Let's check that out. Oh, digest is kind of like an overall quick look of what's going on in your community. Um, so they just show little quick blurbs of it and you can go through really fast to see what's going on. I don't really see what the big difference is between this and the regular home feed. Um, it looks like they might be a little bit shorter or whatever, but I don't, do you guys see a difference in that? I don't either, yeah. So, I, we'll, we'll just skip over that one for now. I'm not sure what's going on. Help maps are for people that um, can help with different things. I know a lot of times um, if there's things going on um, in the community, they need um, uh, different things printed out for something or um, there's water is out. Can anybody help deliver bottles of water to people or stuff like that you can actually go in and you can offer help um to do it so let's see we'll click on continue and then you could put in here what you want yeah so can you help pick up medicine for people can you help uh shovel snow for people can you help run errands what what can you help do and so then as a senior or anybody in the community actually you can go on here and if you can go in here and see if anybody's offering the help that you need. So it's kind of a nice little feature for people to be able to help each other, which is one thing that I do love about Nextdoor is that if people need help, they can ask for it. And a lot of times your, your friends and your neighbors and your community are willing to help you. Okay, so if you're looking for a particular business, sometimes you can go in here and you can say, hey, does anybody have a dentist they recommend or any kind of roofing company or whatever. Businesses can also list their business on here as well. So you can kind of go through and see what kind of businesses are in your neighborhoods um, that you can help shop local and keep things local um, and you know supporting small businesses and stuff like that in your neighborhood. If we click on see all, it will show uh, businesses that are in my neighborhood um, that I can go through and use. Um, so not a lot, I don't think a lot of businesses um, tend to be on next door, which is a shame because I wish more were. But a lot of times if you ask your neighbors, hey, who do you guys use for you know roofing companies? They'll be more than glad to show tell you their opinion on that. And then the same thing with public agencies, a lot of them have gotten to where they have started posting their information um, about uh, what's going on in the community from you know, like this one's the Ohio Department of Transportation. Let's see if anybody else is doing it. Um, Montgomery County does it. I think uh, like Washington Township City I've seen in here places and stuff like that. So if you're looking for what's going on and maybe there's a road closed and you don't know why, you could check next door and see if your city has posted 
uh, some updates to to traffic and, and road closures or uh, vaccination stuff or you know doing your taxes or whatever the case may be. Any questions so far? No, nothing. Okay, then the next one is events. And if you're looking for something to do and you want to get out of your house and you want to go find something, take a look at next door. A lot of times um, events like Facebook um, are posted in here and uh, people will post in here like, you know, yard sales and uh, food pantries, flea market, uh, just different things going on. Like some, like as festivals start to reopen again, I'm sure those will be listed in there. Um, as we're opening up again, things will definitely increase in here. Obviously, there's not a lot going in in here. Um, my neighborhoods haven't been too, too active as far as posting things that are going on. But if you have something going on, you can add it too. You just click on Add Event. And then you choose which neighbors. And again, do you want just yours or do you want particular ones in a group or um, or lions and nearby so if we click on that we can actually get in there we can customize and say i want all of them except for spin maker way then we just uncheck that and then say next and that doesn't include that neighborhood so we choose that we would choose a category whether it's a festival or a meeting sometimes if we have neighborhood meetings stuff like that um so we'll go in here and say a festival we'd say I don't know fun festival and then put in the event and then we would hit next da, 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 da. hit next and see here it's not even letting me go next because I didn't choose the date the time or the end time it's looking for that as well um, oh this was the next sorry about that it will let's go next and then we choose the date so we just click on that and we choose uh, these little arrows choose months so obviously giving people enough warning as possible and posting it when you know about it and then just going in here and choosing the date okay we choose the time and the same way and then announce it to the neighbors and hit next and once the location you put an address you just follow the steps so anyway that's how that's done as well so I strongly encourage you as things start opening to go in here and put in community met events um, and then real estate, if you want to move or you know someone who's moving, real estate is a great place to always check out um, for a lot of people are starting to use it to put in here things that are for sale. Um, I don't see any that are in here for rent. I think they're only using it for, for sale. But... When you go on here and you click on one of these prices, it'll show you um, the house and information. You can just click on the picture and then it will show you more information about this, who the listing agent is, and offer you some pictures as well. So I don't feel like Nextdoor is going to be the next Realtor.com or Rent.com or Trulia or Zillow. It's definitely not going to be that. Um, but they wanted to give people that option to be able to do that. And then safety. If there's something unsafe going on in your neighborhood, this is where you're going, they want you to post it. Add, add new items, so safety items. Um, so, you know, the county and the city um, hopefully are putting stuff in here. But um, this is uh, probably where Beth's sister could have posted that she thought someone stole her flowers. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't my sister, but yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought it was your sister. She was just saying a neighbor did. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's funny. Um, yeah. So can, can I tell that story real quick? Sure. Or do you want to? Well, it was just someone who posted in her neighborhood. Hey, I think someone took my flowers. Uh, they were daylilies planted around a mailbox. So everybody started saying, dear, dear, dear. Uh, so what the lady didn't realize is that no one cut her flowers. No one took her flowers, but the deer ate her flowers. <laughs> So it was just kind of a cute, cute thing. She thought, hey, someone took my flowers, but they didn't. <laughs> we used to live in Tennessee. I remember one time looking out the back door or the side door and I was like, dear. And my husband kept going, what? 
And I was going, and I didn't want to move because I didn't want to startle that deer. And I was like, deer? And he kept going, what? And I'm like, no, there's a deer in the yard. So, um, Diane, I know you don't have next door yet, but Debbie, you said that you have next door. Can you unmute yourself and tell us what you um, use next door for? Okay, so I get emails and I read the emails, but I've never posted anything or um, so I, it's been a while. I don't even remember how I signed on, um, but you know, like the comments and stuff like that, you've explained a lot so far in your presentation today that I didn't know. So, um, you know, I, I, I really like getting emails and seeing what they say, but sometimes I don't know how to get to the comments and, you know. Yeah, sometimes they were, and I don't know if it's better right now, but I know for a little while, like if I got emails and I went to, go, and I clicked on like, go see, see this posting on the website, it just wasn't allowing me to sign in properly and stuff like that. It was kind of wonky. So I think they've gotten quite a bit of that fixed. Um, and obviously the website is quite a bit more interactive than just your emails, right? I just haven't used it, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I have seen things on here, so we're going to keep moving down the list of, of stuff on here. Um, lost and found. If you lose something, definitely get on, on uh, next door and post that you lost it, whether it's a pair of sunglasses or maybe a key to your car, something like that. Um, I have seen some amazing stuff returned uh, because of social media um, and thing, places that you wouldn't even imagine. Um, and then there's a lot of times I'll see people post on here, hey, I found this car key. Uh, does anybody recognize it? Is anyone missing a key? Um, so people do try to look out for each other that way. I one time reposted something. Somebody had found a key on social media on Facebook. I reposted it going, hey, you know, this is uh, my old neighborhood that I used to live in. If any of you guys, you know, uh, recognize this. Well, it happened to be, so just random. I just happened to see it, right? And I reshared it. And my next door neighbor who lived next door to me in the house that, that I lived in in Kettering, um, messaged me and says, oh my gosh, that's my mother-in-law's key. She had lost her key and this is that, that's her key. And so I was able to hook her up with the person that originally posted that to be able to retrieve this key that she might not have ever, ever found if it wasn't for somebody out of their kind heart posting things on, um, social media. So if you find things and you think, oh, what are the chances of, of somebody, you know, seeing this or doing whatever, you never, ever know. So if you find something, post it. Um, the Nextdoor app can be on your phone as well. Um, I think they do have a downloadable app on your phone. Uh, when I said earlier that it was just a website, I meant that it wasn't an app like you could have on your computer you just have to go to the website but you can download the next door app on a smartphone and log in with your credentials and that way if you take a picture using your phone it's really uh, easy to upload those photos to the next door app um uh on your phone so um yeah again uh lost and found don't be shy about uh, posting stuff a lot of times there's animals in here that people are missing um but sometimes it's, you know, okay, most of these are animals, but a lot of times people do put, put in here uh, different, different things. So definitely do that. Um, documents. I have no idea what they're using documents for. Um, maybe I'll put in that flyer for um, that I showed you. Let's do one. So post, we're going to put in documents. And we're going to put in here the hip senior. Do you know a business you'd like to see in the, the hip senior? Please share this flyer. Right now we have a Special two hundred ninety dollar deal for our. I know it seems like I don't know what else to put in here, so we're I'm doing some 
some uh, self-exposure, our platinum plan, and then we can add a file. So we would go in here and <coughs> it's looking for, when you do that, it is actually looking for you to have um, like a PDF, like an actual file. So if there's a PDF or something that you have, but if we went down here and clicked all files, it'll actually allow you to do like JPEG and stuff like that. And then we're going to choose the neighborhood we want to do. We'll say anyone and we'll say post. So that way, if you wanted to share something about a business or something like that, um, that's kind of uh, where people have the ability to be able to do that. Um, and then the general one is literally just general. What are, what are you doing? What are you, are you offering something for sale? Are you, do you have a general question? What's going on with that? And they all do the same way. You can hit new, um, you know, add new at the top. Always you can add comments down here. If you want to comment on people's stuff, if you wanted, um, if you wanted to hit share and, uh, be able to share this, then you can actually copy the link and go paste that in different places or in an email, or you could share it on Facebook or Twitter or WhatsApp um, and be able to tell other people about things that you've found on Nextdoor as well. And then there's groups and groups is a whole different animal for here. Um, usually if um, I, I join groups as a way of kind of, um, seeing what's going on in my community and and following along and seeing what people are thinking um, because I do own the hip senior magazine and so um, I'm always looking in here for different way uh, ideas for different articles or people that we want to write about and stuff like that um, so you can see there's not a whole lot of people in here but you can see the animal lover group well let's go in there because I've had um, almost 500 people in here 477 members um, and so if you know, if you find a group like this that you really like, and it has, um, a lot of times they just post in here about, um, found dogs or they'll post pictures of their dogs because they love them, or they want to talk about care about different pets and stuff like that. That's what this kind of group is for. And so, you know, that when you join a group with a common theme that everybody in there is going to have that common theme and you're maybe not going to get as much argument and whatever that you would just posting it in general so groups can be fun to join and so and then if you know any of your neighbors that that love animals too you can actually go in here and invite them and you can search by name or you can uh, copy a link and email them that link and then they can join next door as well so to find a group that you might like you literally there are all kinds of groups and so anything from like dog kennels to um there's probably a, a bowling one in here there there's happiness there's all kinds of things in here that you could find i saw one for gardening down there so if we were at the top and we wanted to be part of gardening we could just go in here and say gardening and then hit enter and then it's going to pull up dayton gardeners and then we can join it and I'm going to join it because I have a class later today about on gardening. So I might go in there and, and tell them if I'm approved about this class for gardening. So I had a question, Marianne. Yes, ma'am. Who creates the group and who manages the group? If you have a group that you want to create, you can create a group. So people, people, people in the community. They it's, create it's, the group. Yep. Next door is mostly, I think there's some leaders here and there, but I don't think they have a whole lot of power, uh, but anyone can create a group. So up here where it says create, um, we can go in here and create a group. We would name it and we'd just go through the steps. The what next one will say, you know, um, uh, what it's about and, and stuff like that. And you just kind of keep going next, whatever moves you forward. Um, and you can create a group. So if you wanted to create a group, about, um, you know, Dublin seniors and, and stuff like that and have a place for them to meet in here, that would be perfectly acceptable. I also had a question. If I wanted to sell something in particular, I have a dresser that I'd like to sell. What, where would you put that under what category? All right, so 
finds is I think where everybody, yeah, it's kind of like marketplace on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So you would go under finds and then you would post a listing. Good thing you brought that up because we almost, we almost skipped over that. Mm -hmm. Um, so introducing self for good, did I get started? Um, not a uh, sell for good is if you're donating what the money that you sell something for to a charity and you can go in here and choose which charity you want to do to. But if you're your own charity and you want to keep your money, that's perfectly good too. Um, not interested in donating right now. And then it takes you to the sell page and, or you could even do like a percentage. Uh, but you just go in here and you, um, so we're going to sell something. Um, you're how far out depending on whether you could just do your neighborhood or nearby neighborhoods or you could do a broader area if you wanted to we're willing uh, to do that and then you just go in here and you can choose what category so um, they always recommend don't do not sell pets on websites like this but you can sell pet supplies bikes baby stuff appliances anything that you have home decor anything that you have that you want to sell make a little bit extra money maybe for the holidays coming up um, one time I sold a bunch of just shelves that I had, just little old fashioned wood shelves. Um, I made a killing on those on eBay one year and, um, which, you know, eBay is kind of a dying animal because of all the different apps for selling that are out now and stuff like that. But I sold those, um, what were probably cost me at one time, maybe t under $20. Um, I resold them for. Um, close to $200. It was great, kind of crazy. Um, so that was kind of my daughter's first Christmas money that, that I had sold stuff, just kind of laying around that I wasn't using. Um, so if you're downsizing, you know, definitely take a look at, at selling some stuff on here, or if you just have stuff laying around, um, then your title of your posting would go down here. Um, how much you want to sell it for. And then if you want to donate part or none to um, a thing, and you can choose your... Um, another nonprofit that, that you want to do. This is just the generic one that comes up or the one of the first ones. And then you put in the description and then you can add photos. Now this is, unless you've got these photos on your computer, this is where having the app on your phone is a nice option because you can just snap a photo of something real quick, upload it to the app and you don't have to go through the hassle of getting it on your computer uh, or emailing it to yourself, stuff like that. Um, and then just click post listing and then watch the money come in from selling your stuff. Does that answer all the questions for that, Beth? Okay. So it's, it's you, you go under all listings under fines. Yeah. So we were, if we're, let's see, let's start. So if we're on the main page, we go to fines. My internet's always a little bit slow when I'm screen sharing. Um, so yeah, you click on fines mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then, um, and then post a listing, or if you're looking for something, you just see what other people are selling as well. And you can search, you can, so, so like right now I'm looking for a couch. So if we type in a couch, then it's going to pull up all the couches that, that my neighbor nearby neighbors are selling. Or if we were looking for a car. It would show us anything related to cars that are coming up, but yeah. So then if you want to sell something, you definitely you could go and post a listing and then you fill in the blanks. Thank you. You're welcome. And then if you just click on the logo up here, the next door, that always takes you back to the home screen. And then your groups will be listed down here. You can go in them really easily just with a click of a button. Um, you can, um, directory neighbors. So what's kind of cool is if you have a pet or anybody that's watching has a pet, you can actually go in here and add your pet. So say you have a pet that likes jumping fences <laughs> or you just want to share your pet. Like here's my dog. I actually added, added my dog. Here's a fellow. So it actually tells people, you know, I have that he's microchipped, um, what kind of collar he wear, wears, um, who I am. It ties him back to me, you know, and stuff. So if he ever got out, people could go on here and say, oh, look, this, this dog looks like the dog that I'm holding on to right now. 
Um, now I know how to get a hold of Marianne um, and do that. So, but, and it's not, it wasn't showing me. So let's look at somebody who's not my dog. And if we go into there, um, it will allow you to click on this person. Um, and it will actually show, I think, at least it used to, where this person lived. No, it doesn't anymore. Good. I'm glad that doesn't do that anymore because that's a little bit invasion of privacy. But it does allow you to message this person. So you can message this person and they would pop up here in the message section that I showed you. And it'd be like, hey, I've got your dog. You know, um, I've got Juno. Um, where, where, where can I return them to? Or do you want to come to my house or whatever, you know, meet at, meet at Kroger or somewhere. Um, and so that's an option as well. And then the neighbors, it'll show you everybody in your neighbors. So here it says I have got 185 neighbors in this list. There should be 185 people listed and you can kind of go in and see if your neighbor that you want is is part of your neighborhood and if not then you can go in and send them an an invite to to join as well so when you click on these the same kind of listing pulls up just not with the dog and so a lot of times people will go in there and message them and say hey welcome to the neighborhood because in the main section a lot of times uh, when somebody joins your neighborhood, it will just say, you know, um, Beth Baker just joined my, just joined your neighborhood. And then a, pe a lot of people will go in there and say, welcome to the neighborhood, just being nice and courteous. Um, stuff like that. You know, we used to take what cakes and cookies and stuff like that and go knock on a new neighbor's door and say, hey, welcome to the neighborhood. But these days, people are leery of doing that, I've found. I've moved quite a bit in the whole last uh, couple of years. And like, right, uh, you know, I remember we were in Sarasota one time and a next door neighbor brought a cake over. And my husband and I just looked at each other like, what do we do with this? We don't know this person. Do we eat it? Do we, you know, toss it? Do we, you know, we were gracious about it. And then I thought, started thinking about how awful is it that a neighbor could be so kind to make a cake for somebody or cookies or whatever and go to the trouble of knocking on our door to introduce themselves. And then we're questioning whether this cake is poisoned or not. <laughs> but we were new to the neighborhood. We didn't know anybody and we had become leery just like I think everybody else kind of does. So um, I'm hoping like next door um, brings people together a little bit more, shares information about what's going on in your neighborhood and it leaves gives people a chance to to say welcome. Always eat the cake, Marianne. You know what? We ended up eating that cake, and it was an amazing cake. I have to admit, it, it was chocolate, and it was an amazing cake. So we <laughs> ate the cake. Ate the cake. All right. So we're at the end of the list. I can't see anything else on here that I have not shown you. Uh, if I will show you up here, profile and settings. If you click on your picture here, you can invite other people. That's the same as invite neighbors um, down here. So that's kind of the same thing there. Um, but up here, if you click on your picture, or if you don't have a picture there yet, um, if you click on your profile, then you can go in here and actually upload a photo of you. Um, you can input in information about you. Um, it'll show different groups that you belong to. It shows that I've been part of Nextdoor for five years now. Um, just different information that you want to put in here about yourself. It also allows you to put in a emergency contact. So say somebody was out uh, taking a walk and they collapsed and you knew it was like your neighbor from three doors down or whatever. Um, something happened. Well, obviously you're going to call 911, but what if that person like lives alone and you don't know who else to contact to let them know that um, this person's in the hospital now because they collapsed while they were taking a walk. Well, you could go on next door and if they're on next door, you can see if they have an emergency contact um, and then, you know, um, be able to contact this person. Let's see if we click on that. That will show us, allow us to message this person. And then we can send this person a message saying, hey, by the way, uh, Sue Ellen was walking and, and I had to call 911 and they took her to the hospital. And I just wanted you to know since you're her emergency contact on next door. 
So there's all kinds of possibilities of how next door can fit into people's lives and the realms if people would just stop all the drama for this stuff. So if if drama is not your thing, if it is, you know, join in. But if it's not, use it for the other good features that are involved in, in here for, like I said, just being able to find people, uh, sell items, get information from public agencies, um, know who your neighbors are and be able to do stuff like that. Okay. Here's the contacts, a, a good one underneath the profile. Yeah. Yeah. That way we can see that. And then, you know, obviously edit it. You can click on things like in here. If you want to edit your profile, um, if I wanted to change uh, who my emergency contact was, say I ever got remarried or something one day, I would um, go in here and edit it. I'd probably add another one, um, like my husband or something like that, um, to be able to do that. If you have more than one pet, you can click on edit and add stuff like that or edit your information and stuff like that. So that's how you do that is you just literally click on your face and then you edit your profile and you can update all your information for that type of stuff. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Yes. Uh, there's a lot to absorb here. So if yeah. I wanted help with something I wanted to do, which category would I go into to maybe someone that's on there could help me uh, get through something I wanted to do on there, how to do it or something? Well, you, um, I, you can ask on like the public stream, like, Hey, can, can anybody tell me how to, uh, do this or that or whatever? And I'm sure your neighbors will be happy to help. Or you can email me at support at online tech lessons.com and I would be happy to help you as well. Okay. So, okay. so if she has like, like help though, so the general post, now the help map won't be the, won't be the, the little uh, section that she wouldn't go underneath that. No, because usually the help map is for people to offer like what they're doing. Um, if you need assistance, find someone here nearby who can help. Or yeah. Help. So if you say it's winter and you just can't shovel your, your, your driveway, um, you can go in here and see if anybody's offering to help shovel driveways. Um, usually it's, this is usually their free services that people are offering. They're offering. Um, okay. But if you, a lot of times, I think it's part of kind of being a neighbor, right? Offering, um, you know, Hey, do you need help picking up your medicine or stuff like that? Just be out being out there doing stuff. So like when we click on Normandy farm here, um, I can run errands and pick up essential supplies for people that need it. Um, I have a home printer. I'd be happy to print out voter registration materials. Um, just different stuff like that, you know, just people that are willing to be, um, just help. Hopefully these people are doing it for free. You'd have to contact them and say, Hey, I need some help shoveling my driveway. And then, you know, if they do it for free, maybe offer them a tip or something. So like that, that little, that, that little hamburger over there, um, I can yeah. run errands, pick up essential needs. And so that, does that hamburger doesn't do anything? No, that hamburger menu, uh, if I click on that, it says report post. So if it's an inappropriate post, oh. um, you can report it and the uh, next door gods will will look at it. And if deemed, they will take it down. What so if, I if, you, if you need help um, with something, I would definitely... Um, like I said, you're, you're, if it's technical stuff or whatever, you're, you're, you're welcome to, to reach out to me or you could just like kind of go in here and if you need help with anything or whatever, post it in here and just say, Hey, um, under general or whatever, what does anybody know how to do this? Or would you be willing to run this errand or stuff like that? Okay. What if I wanted it to, um, try to hire someone like to do some yard work or rake leaves or something like that? Can I post that somewhere on here? Mm -hmm. um, I think I think you would just post it up here and then you would choose um, ask a neighbor or um, or general. Okay. You know, sometimes you, sometimes, you know, I need some help with something, but I don't know, you know, someone in the neighborhood that might want to make a few dollars or something to help. 
Yeah, and it, it, it's a great way to find somebody in your neighborhood that does, um, see, like I know this person, I might contact her and see if she needs help. Um, but I, the, um, I've known a lot of people that have found like lawn people that are, you know, that work in their neighborhood as handymen or stuff like that, um, to, to cut their grass or do repairs around their house. And the, the important thing is, is just because they're in your neighborhood, don't, don't just assume that they're always the person you need for that job. Ask questions, make sure, you know, if, if you're having them do anything more than like cut your grass, make sure that they're, you know, insured and that check out, Google them, you know, go on there and see if they've got it, what kind of reviews they have. Um, ask people on here, Hey, you know, I'm going to have Bob Jones do some repairs in my home. Does, do, can anybody give him any referrals or ask him, you know, Hey, do you have any referrals? You know, go out there and ask people and make sure that you know who you're, who you're opening up your door to. Because just because they're in your neighborhood doesn't necessarily mean that, that right. it's all good. Anything else? Okay. Well, Beth, I think that wraps up next door then. Well, that was super. Thank you, Marianne. I, I'm not on next door myself, and I think that I might try and experiment with that. I appreciate uh, your detail and going through that with us today. I did.